Port of Palm Beach serves as an essential lifeline to people living in the Caribbean. They have the ability to go and buy what we supply, and that's it. You know, I mean, after that, their lifeline is cut off, and that's when, that's not what we want here. Claude Clevenger is the U.S. Port Operations Manager for Tropical Shipping. I've been here 28 years, and our, my job is basically to make sure that we have the crews adjusted to the vessels that we're operating, make sure that we are meeting the timeline for the, the departure of the vessel, to make sure that it gets to the next stop on time. As we have windows that we have to meet, we have customers' requirements that are waiting for food. A lot of vegetables have to get there in a timely manner so that it doesn't have a lot of shelf life. And we just have to make sure that all that gets to where it's going. And we do it safely and efficiently with a lot of hard work and care and guys. You're the way for a reach there. The cargo business is very important to the world. Cargo moves all around the world every day and we don't even think about it. Here at the Palm Beach, we have 17 ships that come and go every week. And we hit every uh, island location from the Bahamas all the way, way down to Guyana and uh, Suriname. And we actually start up in Canada with the sailing out of Canada uh, every week. President and CEO of Tropical Shipping, Jeff Pfizer, says while a large percentage of the company's workforce is working from home due to the COVID-19 public health emergency, others do not have the ability to do so because they physically handle the cargo. You can't do these jobs from home. You have to be in a machine or beside a ship or operating a ship. All the islands have to eat and they all need medical supplies and that's what we deliver to the islands. Just like us going to Publix and grabbing what we need or going to Home Depot and grabbing what we need, they have that same ability because of what we do. And we take a lot of pride in it. Our uh, slogan, if you will, is committed to island life and we'll do anything and everything we can to help our customers uh, succeed in the islands. His priority is also the safety of his employees who are essential maritime critical infrastructure workers because they work at the Port of Palm Beach. Today we'll be working on the Virgin Island run for discharging. Uh, 456 coming off, so we'll be doing that all day. We take the proper precautions here at work. You know, we make sure we practice the social distancing and uh, we wash our hands thoroughly. They provide cleaner for us so we could disinfect our machines when we get up in them. We just erected a tent out front, which we're going to use for a break area so the guys can spread out. We stagger our breaks now, so that's helping quite a bit. You know, Tropical has always been here for us over the years, so uh, I'm very fortunate. I feel very fortunate that I can still work. Um, there's a lot of people that aren't working, and I feel for them. On the ships, where we have an average of 16 to 17 people running each ship, before and after every port call, we wipe down the entire ship. They're basically locked down on that ship, and we don't allow them to go off, which quite frankly, they're very happy not to go off because it's a little town, if you will, on that ship, and they, can, they know it, that they can keep it clean, and uh, it helps protect them a lot. We've actually built uh, sinks at the top of each ship, so when you walk up the gangway, the first thing you do is have to wash your hands and be clear. So we're keeping the ships very clean. Port of Palm Beach financial statements show last fiscal year, Tropical Shipping handled 1.3 million tons of cargo and 274,290 TEUs. The company's cargo tonnage here at the Port of Palm Beach was up 6% this year as of January. The growth driven primarily by relief and recovery efforts following Hurricane Dorian, which devastated the Bahamas. Pfizer says this week was the first time they began to feel the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. What's happening in the islands is they've really enacted very strict quarantines and they can't even leave the house for a period of three or four days in a lot of the cases. So they're only moving essential cargo. So some of the stuff that's associated with the cruise industry or the hotel tourism industry, people aren't taking cruises and aren't staying in hotels. So that started to slow down. The big question is how long it will last. And we think maybe quarter two will be off 10 or 15%, but then the rest of the year will start to come back very quickly. And we're hopeful that by September, this is a, a distant memory for all of us. In the meantime, the goal is to keep the supply chain moving. A task that is only possible with committed employees. 
I tell you, we have an amazing crew. I, I can't thank these guys enough for the hard work that they do. They, they put in a lot of effort to make sure that we can get these vessels out, loaded properly, safely, and to the customers down island. And they all take pride in their work, and that's what makes it work. Thank you for your commitment. And on top of that, be safe. Be safe in what you're doing.